Welcome back. As temperatures slowly, slowly rise, ticks are becoming more of a problem, and urgent care centers around the area, they are seeing more and more patients. Yeah, people are getting tick bites. Rochester Regional says they're seeing on average two patients a day at each facility with tick-related concerns. James Gilbert reports. <laughs> The mosquito squad started treating for ticks in early April. The weather hasn't been very cooperative, but we get out there when we can. Owner Joe Koval says once the thermometer hits 45 Fahrenheit, they spray and lay traps for a worsening problem. We've seen more and more ticks every year for the last seven years. Koval says that warming winters are good for ticks. Grass piles, leaf piles, they're just not freezing anymore. So they're becoming breeding areas. It's when you start your spring cleaning that the ticks spring into action. Keep your lawn low and clear of debris. After being outside, according to Dr. Scott Allen, check your skin. Typically, you don't notice them until you see them either when you're taking a shower or you see them in the mirror. If you find one sucking your blood, timing is everything. Longer than 24 hours, chance for Lyme disease. Shorter, you're clear according to the CDC. For home removal, tweezers. Otherwise, urgent care. And if you've got symptoms like a bullseye rash some 3 to 30 days after a bite, you'll need a doctor. James Gilbert, News 8. If you show up with a tick bite, urgent care does not test the tick for Lyme disease, saying the test is unreliable and will not impact how they treat the patient. If you really want testing, you should contact health officials at your local health department.